I will ask you some questions and these questions are important for the operation, okay? Please answer clearly. Do you have a diabetic problem? Do you have a high blood pressure? Do you have any heart problem? Any allergy for some medication? Do you drink alcohol? Social? Cigarette? Do you have any medication you take it every day regularly? Yeah. Can you buy it here, please? You are using the penetrate as well. Mm -hmm. When you start to do penetrate? Years ago. One year? No. Maybe Many years. Five, six years. So that after operation, you must continue that. Because yeah. if you are going to stop. For sure, I will. You yeah. know that you will have a problem if yeah. you are going to stop. Do you have any other chronic diseases? As we know it, you have the HIV positive. Mm -hmm. Do you have the hepatitis C or hepatitis B? Mm -hmm. No. I will explain to you the process what we are going to do. Okay. okay. This is the our operation on our phone. Just here the name, surname, and signature also, please. Great. So what we will do, I will explain to you the firstly our process, what we are going to do today. Mm -hmm. First of all, we will go inside and our anesthesia doctor, Dr. Aaron, you meet with him. So uh, he's gonna see you. Firstly, we will change. So I will be asleep. Yes. <laughs> so, first of all, we will change your clothes. Okay. okay. Later, we will take your blood for the test. Okay. Happy to be happy to see and the, for the HIV positive again for the, all the patients we are doing. Okay. This is the chronic disease. Mm -hmm. And then we are checking your diabetic, high blood pressure, and heart problems. And this, this is the doctor will say, okay, everything is fine about the healthy, then you are going to the studio. Okay. In the studio, firstly, we start with the taking the photos. After that, we will shave your hair. Then we will make it your hairline. When you say it, I like it, it's perfect. Then we go operation. Okay. Operation is gonna start with the sedation, which is especially you are asking, okay? <laughs> so the first 30 minutes, 45 minutes, you will be sleepy, okay. okay? Why? Because we don't want you to feel any pain, okay? This is in the Turkey, not the common, or in the world, it's not common things because they don't have the anesthesia doctor, yeah. okay? So the, our anesthesia doctor is gonna let you sleep 35, 40 minutes, and in this 40 minutes, we will do the painful part, local mm -hmm. anesthesia, okay? okay? When you wake mm -hmm. up, operation is already stopped. The first of all, we will take the, your hair follicles from the donor area, mm -hmm. then we will open channels with the saphir material on the empty area, then we transplant that hair follicles into the channels. Yeah. Operation is going to take approximately six to eight hours, okay? And there will be one lunch break. You will eat your lunch, okay. 15 minutes. So uh, inside the operation room, there will be TV for you, okay? If you want, you can listen to music. If you want, you can watch it something because you will be awake, okay? Uh, after the sedation. Okay. So, or you can sleep. It just depends on you, how you like it. Okay. So the, after operation, our consultants, are going to explain to you all your medications, how to take it, okay? What you have to do, what you don't have to do. Mm -hmm. Every details we will explain to you, okay. okay? And also we will prepare your documents. So you did operation here, how many guards, which technique, every detail will be written in your documents, okay? This is the process for the today. Today, when we finish the operation, we will drop you to the hotel. Okay, uh -huh. you will sleep in the night. Maybe you can have this some swelling, uh, the serum which we injected your donor area. Okay, mm -hmm. it can come out slowly. Okay, don't worry, don't be afraid. This is the too normal. Mm -hmm. In the morning when you come, uh, we will take it, your bandage. Okay, we will do the cleaning mm -hmm. on the backside, and it's gonna take a ten minutes. Okay, after that you will back to your hotel. You can rest it. The day after, you will come here again and we will do your first washing. We will teach you how to do it the first washing. We will teach you how to do it the first 10 days, okay? After 10 days, when you remove the, your scabs, it's going to look perfect. You will say, oh, everything is fine. Thank you so much, okay? But after one month, shock hair loss. Oh my God. You are going to lose it which hair we transplanted. Yeah. Okay? So... Of course, I just got invited to a uh, uh, Elton John AIDS Foundation Gala guest oh. in, in one month. Only. Really? 
Okay. <laughs> That's okay, because I look okay now, so I can just, could I shave it? I will see that. Maybe we can do it with the no shaving. Okay. You see? That's okay. going to be also the good okay. for you. So after three months, which hair we transplant, it's going to start to grow up. When you touch it, hair is coming. Mm. Okay? Three months. And after eight months, you can see the amazing result. Okay. Okay. Process completely finished to month. Why? Because your hair can grow faster and my hair grow slowly. It mm -hmm. depends mm -hmm. on the, your immune system. Okay. okay. It's great. So this is the general process, what we are going to do. Okay. Do you, now we will bring it to the well, this is doctor also. Okay. I will be here to answer the general uh, questions about the hair transplant. And also our anesthesia doctor will be here for the specialty medical questions. Okay. okay? That will be better. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because my part is especially on the hair transplant. But his part, especially on the medical I part, okay. that will be perfect to answer for the both parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. What do you have questions generally? Is there anything specifically that you do differently for someone if they're living with HIV or? Yes. I will tell you generally what we have the problems, okay? And before also, now also, okay? Actually, about the, this history is the really the. the was making me sad, okay? Mm. Let me explain to you slowly yeah. about this topic. So, because I have four actually, years. I'll, I'll, I'm surprised, I have to say, that you have such a focus on it. When yeah. You created a video. That's to me, it's like, wow. You know? Look at this. That's surprising. Yeah. Do most clinics treat it the same way? Yeah, that's what okay. it is. So, the, this is the. I was doing that especially on the, the some news mm -hmm. okay for the Turkish the news okay yeah. I speak it's Turkish you cannot understand maybe I don't know if I can do this right now so the, especially I was here to the talking about in the Turkey this is this was common problem HIV positives people are the trying to make it we cannot treat you mm -hmm. okay and the, there was, especially, I was the giving to the article like the HIV positives, you cannot say to just to go, oh, okay? okay yeah. like, you can't discriminate. Yeah, that's not good, okay? Yeah. Um, let me tell you the just general story. Yeah. Before the, our VIP boutique polyclinic, before five years we were in another polyclinic and the hair transplant, uh, part was we were running okay mm -hmm. so the, there was the, also the other aesthetic surgeries but the just hair transplant part for us okay we were doing the, the operations on there on that time as you know we have the patients from worldwide okay from China from USA from UK from the another countries from Latin America so that many patients was the coming and Sometimes we had this situation. There's some HIV patients mm. who has the HIV positive patients, they were coming and the clinic management was the not accepting them. Mm. And that was the making especially me the sad because the I said, okay, what we can do? I was trying to talk with the plastic surgeons and say, Oh, what we have to do now? Just to give it to me an answer mm. so that we fix with the patient. Because that's not the ethic or the, that's not good to say to the patient, oh, we cannot take it. So we have to find some solution. Maybe we can do it in another place. Maybe, maybe we can do it the, with the, some special sterilization. Yeah. Okay. And they were, no, that's Did really. Did you say no also to other bloodborne pathogens like hepatitis? Yes. The same Hepatite answer. C, yes. Hepatitis C and the HIV positive special no. Mm. Okay. When we are especially saying why, they say, ah, no need. Mm. But that's not the ethic, that's not logical. So the, the here, we are doing the for many patients. I was just uh, just trying to understand, to yeah. be honest, okay? Yeah. So the, if in case there is any patient, you are the doctor, and in case any patient get the accident here, and he went to the hospital, Mm -hmm. So you you are not gonna treat her? Is it logical? No. Just you can say to the doctor before, 
Yes, this patient has the HIV positive, so he can put that and yeah. he can do the treatments with the different the technique. Okay, yeah. but you cannot say I'm not gonna take it, isn't it? It's I know it like this. So the, the when I'm thinking logical because you have to do the empathy. Mm -hmm. This is the most important thing is when you are the doing the, some work, you have to do the empathy. So because these patients are coming from the other side of the world, mm -hmm. from the USA, from the Canada. So that they come here and when you, they come, they say, oh, there is like this situation. They say, no, we cannot. That's not good. So then uh, we were fighting with them a lot about this topic. Later, uh, in the 2019, uh, when we create our own whole clinic, we say, this is the time. Now we decided for everything. Okay, mm -hmm. that was the happiest things also in, in this part because we talk with especially our anesthesia doctor as well. We say what we can do. It. We want to do it like these things because we have a lots of patients who are asking. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when we are saying, ah, oh, sorry, we don't, well, uh, we cannot take it. Then we have the uh, bad reaction. Okay, so I did his. Friend's operation, this cousin operation, mm -hmm. maybe his uh, sister or brother operation, but uh, how I'm going to say, I'm not going to take it. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Okay? So, later we create here our uh, clinic and we say, okay, we start to check the patients. After that, we create a special the room for the other patients and we start to check the other patients from the all around the world. The, for the HIV positives, okay? This was the story. And uh, on that time, really, sometimes the, some patients was the coming, mm -hmm. and the best difficult things is the, for this uh, cases, on that times, some patients, they don't know they are, have a HIV positive. Oh, wow. This is the most difficult things you can explain to the patient this because before the operation we are like coming for a hair transplant yes mm -hmm. and we are saying oh so like this and you cannot explain it. this is the too difficult you don't know the reaction you don't know the, yeah. the uh, all things you know yeah so that was the the main the difficult things for me <laughs> so do you test everyone then yes okay this is the most Standard. important and there we had also the the, the good cases bad cases mm -hmm. So the, some HIV positive patients also, they are talking before the, our clinic with the maybe 10 clinic, okay? Thanks to the surgeon because they are doing the research, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when they are talking, they check, they talk with the, some patient clinics. When the clinics are saying, this is the, the, the there is a good base, bad base. Mm -hmm. So the, some patients, they are talking with the clinics and the clinics are saying, sorry, we cannot take you. Yeah. We cannot do the operation. Okay, like this thing. <coughs> so then, when they are talking with us, some of them, they are saying we don't have the cherry post. So that's the main problem because also, but he doesn't know we accept. Mm. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. he is thinking when he is gonna come, he will not do the test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that time, when he come, when he is doing, when we are doing the test, yeah. when it is the uh, positive showing, we want to, we are telling to the patients, so the, why you are doing this? So the, why you are not searching our website? Because yeah. when you look at the, our website, you will see already we are doing that yeah. for the HIV positives. But the, he is not the, just the, he talked with the maybe 10 clinic about this and 10 clinic didn't accept him. And then when he's the, uh, trying yeah. to talk with us, this is the general the mistake mm -hmm. that especially we are telling to the, all of our uh, Patients, please, before you are coming, tell to us if you have any chronic disease or if you have any medical problem. We are talking with all of our patients' process, okay? So when they are saying this, we are preparing ourselves thanks to this, so we can do this operation. Mm -hmm. We will do mm -hmm. it finally. Yeah. So that when he come here, if he is not saying, so we have to cancel the, this date and we are giving to him the, another date. Uh, if you say to us, we will give it to you the another date or the, this date, so you can come and we will do it operation. Yeah. 
that was the, the... I can see how if you've been rejected 10 times, and even if they say on the website, oh, it's okay, but you think, oh, if I, if, if I say I have HIV, on the website it says it's okay, but in person they'll go, oh, sorry, we can't, and then it's too late. So I think that's why people might lie. Yes, possible. No, the, uh, actually, right. I know this, uh, the real things. I know because in the Turkey, I know the many, many hospitals, many clinics, many special the medical centers, they don't accept. So when they are texting them, they say, no, I understand especially about these things. Yeah. But that's not good also for them to just to travel from the Canada, right. from the travel to the, from the China, Dangerous. from the Brazil to here. And we, if we say that, uh, sorry, today we are full. Tomorrow we are full, yeah. so that uh, we cannot take you this two days. So uh, if we know that, we will give it to you the, this the day. This room is for you, okay? That's easy, actually. So you okay? have a different room. We have the for the we have the for the our HIV uh, positive patients. Especially we organize the, the for example one and the second room, okay? Mm -hmm. So that this two room we are saying because that. Uh, this room needs to clean and the sterile with the perfect way. Mm. This is too important, mm. okay? So the, for the, the patients, okay? This is the important because we have a lot of the patients, especially asking for the HIV positive. Mm. This is the good things. Do you know why? Mm. Because when the patient come, when we are doing the surgery, because all the patients are happy about the result, service, everything is the perfect. So. When our the positive patients, when they're having the operation, they are happy and they are saying they are friends, you know, mm -hmm. and that good work bring good work. So that then when we check, many, many patients are to trying to text us so that with you especially also, we want to let the world know mm -hmm. in the Turkey, there is clinic and especially we are having a, a welcoming our the HIV positive patients as well with the, the perfect service, perfect operation. Uh, this is the, our purpose, okay? And people are here educated, like for me, I'm undetectable, and they yes. understand what that means, undetectable, yes. untransmittable. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And the other, <laughs> this is the problem actually, other places, they don't know what is the undetectable, mm. okay? When they are, the patient is coming and saying, "Ah, oh, that I am HIV positive, but the undetectable." Okay. Maybe. They don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. B equals B. Yeah. So they don't know this. Mm -hmm. They are thinking just that they don't know the, what is the difference actually. Yeah. Okay. If he is getting the uh, if he is getting the medications or not, this patient is not coming from the especially if he is coming from Africa as well. If he is coming from another country as well, if the you are asking, he is telling you, and you are taking the you are seeing these things, you know, the results, and that we are asking for. Wait till I'm at it, sir. Three, two, one. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up. I can flip a dial to a million. I don't like to brag, but I'm really on three, two, one. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up.